everyone, on today's video I'm going to be reviewing this eyeshadow palette by W7 and it's a, a kind of like a copy of the Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm Racy palette. Some of you know that I'm a makeup artist and I'm on my Spanish channel I usually do makeup looks and reviews and everything and I wanted to bring that to my English channel as well. Today we are going to be doing swatches about this palette and see if it's worth it or not. So these are the colors and there is a lot of glitter in here, like most of them are glittery, which is not useful, but let's give it a try. Okay, let's just start doing the swatches and see how are they. So I'm going to start with the first four. Fantasy, Flirt, Icon and Pose. On these first ones I can see that these ones are pressed pigments, so they have a good payoff. This one not as good, also it's kind of like my skin tone, so you cannot see it much. But this one that is just glitter, but because it doesn't have any color, it's just glitter, um, it doesn't have that much payoff. And when I was doing the swatch, I could feel all the grainy texture, so it's a little bit more difficult to work with. But let's go to the next one. Ruler Loud VIP. Yeah, with this one we have the same thing, it's just glitter so the payoff is a little bit less, but these ones are amazing. Flash, Proud, Attitude, Parade. These ones are good. Lovely colors. Post, Influence and Rebel. Okay, this one is not very strong, but the other two are good. Okay, now that I applied my eyeshadow base, I'm going to start with this one, parade, as a transition color. Okay, yeah, the, the pigmentation is good. Fantasy, and I'm going to apply it on the brow bone, and a little bit here. Now I'm going to get a little bit of influence to give a little bit more depth over there. Now I'm going to use, what's the name, Attitude to give a little bit of sparkly sparkly. And for the lower part I'm going to use this blue, which is called Loud. Okay, I finished, so now I'm going to give you my opinion. This cost me £4.99, and for that price, it's amazing. I haven't tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I've tried other palettes of her, but this one that has so many pressed pigments and so many glitter, I haven't. I don't, I don't think I have a palette like that. But this one for this price is really good. I mean, the matte eyeshadows, which are the ones that they they are more difficult to have the pigment and everything because the the shimmery ones they always uh, have a better payoff than the matte ones. So if a brand has a good matte eyeshadows, you know it's a good brand because it's the difficult part. The matte were really good. A lot of pigmentation really good payoff. They were really blendable, really easy to, to work with. The other ones are super creamy. The only thing it's to work with them with a brush is really, really difficult. It's way better to do it with your fingers. But for example, I, I put 
those ones here underneath and obviously with the finger I don't have the precision to, to make a line but yeah at the end I, I did it kind of <laughs> but that's my only complaint about this palette the glitter ones even they don't have a color so they're more difficult to use but anyway they don't fall everywhere we know that glitter if you use glitter it goes everywhere except where it needs to go <laughs> But these ones are quite good because, for example, it doesn't fall a lot. And it's quite good. It doesn't fall anywhere. They're quite good. And the press pigmented ones, they're amazing. They're super, super creamy. And payoff is insane yeah super easy to work with so yeah for this price is really really good what is a little bit bad it's that they just copy every palette of Anastasia Beverly Hills that that I disagree with that is no good when you do it like exactly because this is just they're the same the same um, positions of the colors everything is just the same it, yeah it's a it's a cheap way cheaper version of it so it's everyone can use it everyone can have it but I don't know I just feel bad because I, I was brand manager of a makeup brand and it's not good when someone just copy all your work and put it for not even a third of the price it's kind of like uh. so on that I disagree a little bit they could do I think they could do um, similar but not exactly I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments below and yeah please subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet because there's a lot of more videos coming and you don't want to miss them and also you will have all the links to my social media on the description box and as always have a lovely day and see you in the next video